And we are back. This war will now change pretty dramatically. I mean, we haven't really been losing anything, although theoretically it's maybe slowed us down a bit by diverting our resources elsewhere. But we should now be able to take things relatively quickly. And it's not just the extra strength artillery, it's the range 3 and indirect fire, which is really handy. Sure, Dido, we're the best of friends. Freedom! Okay, so every ideology has now been accounted for. Oh, we lost that one. Oh, right, because they can go through the city. That's actually really bad. That is actually very, very bad. Hmm. Let's do that. You, uh, just rest up a tick. That's actually really hugely bad. Um, I'm going to insta-heal you and get you to fortify in place. You just rest up as well. You can kill this guy. Just hoping they can't reach anything else. The problem is my Gatling gun probably can't survive much more. Yeah, that positional loss is bad. They have a run away from here, which is interesting. I think we can get to here safely. We'll get good vision on the hill as well. And we can even bombard this turn, which is really nice. Um, let's go and take that. I like prioritize killing the ranged ones. Someone stole fertilizer. Of course! I mean, you know, we only have a level 3 spy and a constable in Ottawa. Like, I don't know how they keep stealing our stuff. I'm getting very frustrated at how effectively everyone else's spies are operating. Uh, we're still safe over here, which is good. You got a lot of units coming on board. Basically, we're going to total war mode at this point. Um, we're going to get electricity, which should help our production. Um, and then we might want to work our way to replaceable parts as quickly as possible. So we lost another unit. Let's kill that, or not. Let's do a lot of damage there, which is something. Go and do that. And actually shoot far enough to take out some Berbers over here. Or not. There we go. Look at this range, though. It's so crazy. The range plus indirect fire, man. Changes everything. Um, we'll leave you heal here for another couple of ticks. Actually, it'd be really nice to be able to get into our Citadel. But we do need to heal. It may be better to heal in front of the territory, though. I guess we'll, we'll march you forward a little bit and see what happened. Um... Do, 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 do. Stealing from other cities? Was that... I thought that was Ottawa. I was pretty sure it said Ottawa, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know where that last tech was. I know a lot of stuff has been stolen from Ottawa. Again and again and again. Tons of stuff stolen from Ottawa. Even though I had the spy there. There might have been another one in the city, but... Almost all of them say that. Alright, we took some damage, but we didn't lose a unit, which is key here. Show me Aluminium. You're not serious. We are going to need aluminum for rocket artillery later on. We'd have to go all the way over here to get it. Because that that's a game changer. Not having aluminum, that's, uh, that's the end of your conquest. If you can't get aluminum by the time you want to get rocket artillery. Um, wow. I mean, we might still be able to do it, but we'll see. You are going to go and get a double drill. And then you're going to pop in here and attack that guy. And then we're going to go and build some more artillery. Lots of artillery wins wars. Uh, do we need to do an insta-heal over here? Mm, no, I think I'm okay. If I just go drill, I should be able to just tank out some damage, especially if I weaken this guy. I think we're going to be okay. Meanwhile, here, let's go and weaken the cannon quite a bit more. Um, and here, I'm going to make sure to kill that Berber. Wow, they've got even more. It's a good thing there's a hill here, so they can't actually, I don't think, reach me quickly enough. Apply some beat down over there. Need another 800 gold to quick buy a unit. Um, any chance we'd want a pop? Yeah, actually, let's get rifling right now. Right now. And we're going to keep working towards replaceable parts. It's going to make a huge, huge difference. Um, I'll actually go and upgrade you now. I don't think you'll die. Uh, you're not in friendly territory, although you will be now. And I can upgrade you next turn if you don't die. Um, your job is to keep building a lumber mill. 
There we go. Jim Dog, thank you for the sub. Do, 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 do. Vancouver is still fine. Uh, we did lose that unit, which is too bad. Would have been nice to upgrade him. Things are definitely on the rough side. This guy is safe, because these guys are all pretty weak. I'm going to kill that guy off. Kill you that way. Um... I will move back to there. Arsenal, done. Great. Let's go ahead and get started on some rifles then. The problem with Arsenal is they always try to walk it in. Um, let's kill off some ranged units. And here, well, I don't need to upgrade this guy yet because I can just go and take some free kills that way. I will go ahead and upgrade this guy. And you... Uh, it's tempting to take that kill, but I think we might just want to rest him. Uh, yes, yeah, so they're still on muskets so far, at least the ones at the front, which is nice to see. We do have to build a lot of troops. But we're just going to kill off everything they've got over here. Their Berber cavalry did surprise me. The, the mobility and the strength of them definitely caught me off guard. Alex, thanks for the resub. Hmm, Vancouver. Um, barracks? And you're a long way to be able to pump out some proper troops. You know what? We're going to get a Lancer out just for a mobility unit because it's pretty handy. So, um, World's Fair is certainly going to pass always passes. We'll go ahead and try to get some science funding, although it almost certainly won't pass. I only had one vote there because I sold off most of my votes for the World's Fair. Um, let's work on that guy, especially since he's guarding a great general. Can I do this safely? Yes. And this is attacking across a river. Um, let's just go ahead and take the upgrade then, since that unit's not actually at any kind of risk. You're going to get barrage plus volley. And then we're going to try to move you to the front as quickly as possible. Go ahead and build a farm there. Boom. What? Oh, set up. Bombard. You, it'd be really nice to upgrade you. Do I want to move you here? Then you could get bombarded by the city at that point. I think it actually might be better just fortify here and heal. Plus it'll provide a bit extra cover for my artillery. Um, you, I will just fortify until healed. You can kill off that Berber. Very nice. If I had the 800 bucks, I would go and buy another uh, artillery right now in Quebec City. This should allow us to break Morocco. The problem is, Catherine, as always, Catherine runs away with the game. Catherine is an insanely powerful nation in general, but specifically is also really, really powerful uh, for the AI. Um, and AI Catherine is always really strong. And the problem is... AI Catherine is always a million miles away from me, and that is no no different. They're literally on the other side of the map. So what we're going to have to do to stop AI Catherine from winning is, as always, we have to fight our way through the entirety of the map to reach her. And the fact that this has been a long, slow war is not helping that. But, you know, what can you do? The fact that we don't have any um, any aluminum is brutal. We desperately have to make some real gains here against Morocco so that we can get his uh, aluminum from over here, or aluminium uh, from over here, uh, by the time the next war is relevant. And the problem is Fez is going to be almost impossible to get through because of these lakes. Luckily, we can fire over the lakes relatively well, so not all is doomed. Can we get a guaranteed kill over here? Looks like yes. Good. Which means we can just focus on... Um, kill that guy. And kill that guy. And you should... Actually, you can move up and be relatively safe. So, science funding failed. World Fair passes. We've got a second freedom ideology. And so, the question is, do we want to start working on the World's Fair now? I really... It's quite good to get... Um, we want to get the silver, at least. It's very important to get. So, we will actually have to work 
on the World's Fair right now. We're going to put in enough turns of production so that we get the 350 hammers required to get silver for the free social policy. Most likely, if we get all our cities working on it, it'll only take a turn, maybe like half a turn, like or a turn and a half, like we'll, we'll remove some of the cities next turn. So it actually won't delay our production quite as much as it looks like it is. But we have to get silver. It's just too important. Uh, you can keep working on this farm. Uh, sorry, I have no interest. I really encourage you to declare war on him, though. Make me very happy. Uh, if I see her troops coming near mine, I might go and give her a bribe. We'll see how it goes. Uh, you go ahead and shoot that guy. You need to rest. You rest, since it's our territory and everything. You, uh, hopefully you can do this and be safe. You got a lot of hit points, you'll be on a hill. There's a unit here. Depends on how many other units there are. A little bit of range, but no, we're going to be fine. Uh, you... We want Barrage 3 over here. Um, we got the bonus. We're not getting... Do we not have the 200% bonus anymore? No. Oh, that's a shame. From being inside the fort. Look at this. We can really blow the crap out of Casablanca now, though. And again, we can do range 3. We can outrange the city itself. Uh, we've got a melee unit that's not too far away, is currently healing up. Um, I think it would actually be safe for me to move it here. This would both be friendly territory, which means faster healing, but I can upgrade it. It can get bombarded, but I think on balance we will come out ahead. Um, so I haven't put in a turn on the World's Fair yet, right? No, no, I put in 158. So next turn I'll be slightly higher than that, and then probably one, just leave one city working on it at that point. I like to do in bulk, like, you know, if you work it out, maybe you can just have two cities working the whole time, but I like to set all cities to work on it, and then cancel some things. So I'm at 313, so um, we will definitely get to 350. I don't think I'm going to work for gold, just because I do want to work on some military units. So, um, especially the cities at the front. Tell you what, I'll cancel them all. Good. And then my capital can actually, if it 313. Yeah, so I need 37. So my capital will actually overshoot it slightly, but we'll only have to put one turn of production in there. That works out pretty well for me. Melbourne election has been rigged. Can we coup them? No, only 10% chance, so I'm not going to work that. I'm going to blow you up. You are going to keep healing. Uh, you are going to set up and bombard the city. Bombard the city. Bombard the city. You. Um, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade. Oh, I might get killed. Uh, there is a hill here, but I think the Berber could still reach me. Do I upgrade him or just rest him? Let's risk the upgrade. Meanwhile, we'll actually march this guy. Really, that's the fastest? We'll march this guy this way. And even though this guy's not healed, I'll actually start to march him forward as well. And you go in Vancouver. That way we can bombard it a little bit better. Listen, I don't suppose you'd be willing to negotiate for something awesome, would you? 16 gold per turn. Well, you do. Ha you have now recognized that you're losing, which makes me very happy. Broadway, wow. Ah, uh, that unit got killed even after upgrading, which is actually really, really miserable making. Um, it also make, means we have to desperately bombard the crap out of this guy so he doesn't kill any of my artillery, which he hasn't. Hey, volley promotion. Boom. Okay. This guy will be able to survive, though, so that, that'll be okay. It's a little annoying, but it's not the end of the world. Put you in the city and get you to rest. Looks like they're mostly pulling back. You keep marching. I guess you're going to go there. Um, World's Fair. There we go. We have enough for silver. Perfect. Go back to building rifles. We have a lot of Moroccan territory to take over. That sounds like a great deal. I would love to keep selling you dyes. Um, ba -da -da -bum -bum. It'd be nice if we could re-get our friendship with Napoleon over here. Listen, Nappy. Oh, that's really sad. World's Fair update. We could have gotten gold, but we got other priorities. So Casablanca has zero hit points now, so it's mostly a question of marching on it. Uh, so I guess you can just rest, and you can just rest. 
and automate the workers. They really can't mess things up too badly at this point. Uh, I'd rather move that way. Cargo ship. Got a jet of trade with Gades. We'll have to rebuild our cargo ships in a second. I mean, we've had to rebuild them for a while, but we're still making good money as is, and, you know, we had to build military units. That is kind of sucky. I don't suppose... If we got a promotion right now, it would be so nice. Ack. I can do that, but then I could get bombarded to death. Most likely, I would. But if I don't, if by some miracle I wouldn't get bombarded to death once I stood there, then I could take the city next turn. I think I'm going to fortify in place here, because I don't think they can bombard me, and this guy at least he can't kill me. So we can't take the city next turn. But soon. Wow. They're moving in with a lot of units. We can get some more upgrades, although we're not going to do it there. Um, can we purchase a unit real quick? I mean, I can't get another artillery. Can't get the Great War. Um, I can get a Lancer, though. Which is nice. Hey, we get our ideology. So, I'm going to go order. Um... Because it's very strong. For all kinds of reasons. We get one tenant. We're going to be friends with Korea. Is Korea relevant in the world stage? Not terribly so. We could go and be friends with Catherine. Also, autocracy is pretty good for war. Happiness from castles and arsenals. Total war is really, really, really good. You know what? I think, actually, we're going to go autocracy because we're going to be friends with Catherine. Because, you know, me and Catherine are, are buddies. And then we'll just go and conquer the entire world. An autocratic... Canada. I think I like it. Look at the tourism output. Yeah, we can take a look at it for a while. Um, so France is starting to be a little touristy, which is not really a surprise. It's kind of a thing that France does. Okay. Um, we could use a few ships to defend our shores, and actually biology is quite nice to reveal oil as well. Um, although, oh, we can get flight in four turns. Never mind. We'll get flight first. We could get broadcast towers um, to fight some of the, the problems. And actually, why not plastics for research lab? Yeah. But then, for sure, we'll pick up oil. Flight would also help with some of this warfare. Um, artillery, good. Let's build some great war our infantry. We've got lots of artillery at this point. We've got more than we can possibly front. We got a free tenant here. Happiness is really good right now. Yeah, futurism for bonus tourism. But I don't think tourism is the way we're going to win. I think it's either going to be domination or we're going to do some sort of science victory at some point. Um, so fortified borders is a good source of continuous happiness. We are going to get arsenals in most of our cities. So that's going to help. We can get castles in fair numbers of them, especially if we end up picking up Neutschwenstein, um, which does require railroad, which right now we're delaying quite a bit. You know what? Neutschwenstein is so good, and we've got somewhere we can build it. And we're already incentivized to build castles. We also got a new policy. We're definitely going to try to finish rationalism. Get that free tech. More great scientists. That's pretty good. Uh, Ottawa over here. I'm actually going to go and uh, reset your uh, your great people here. And take you off production focus. There we go. Much, much better. Get a unit promotion. We're going to go for barrage, followed by volley. Yeah, we've got tons of artillery now. The big problem is actually... Um, making sure that the artillery can do stuff without dying. I'd like to finish off this unit, but it's much more important for us to kill off the thing that is threatening our troops. There we go. You're still fortified up. Not upgraded, though, which is too bad. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this attack, because nothing else can really counter-hit me, and we'll do more damage to them than uh, them us. We recruited a new spy. We got Guy. Um, who's the tech leader here? Let's go and take a look at this. Uh, no, this is the screen I want. World rankings, technology. This is uh, InfoAttic. So Russia's number one. We don't want to spy on Russia because they probably have defensive spies. We're going to start spying on France. And in fact, at this point... Um, oh no, we're in third place overall. Okay, we'll keep a defensive spy. That'll be fine. Although maybe I'll, I'll put a rank one defensive spy in Ottawa now. And put my rank three in France and see what we can get out of them. There's a lot of uh, naval tech for us to steal. Um, which actually, we're going to want to... 
try to fill that out first. But yeah, you go to Paris as a spy. You are going to defend Ottawa. Still can't coup this with a reasonable chance. No, we'll keep rigging elections first then. That's going to be fine. Um, artillery, move forward. This guy here, let me get you to move towards the front as well. You don't need to defend Vancouver anymore. Vancouver is fine. Research agreement completed. And we have no friendship anymore. Listen, Russia. We're both autocratic. Yes, there we go. Let's be friends. And research agreements. I'm missing money. Fair enough. But I'll get it soon. I promise. I promise you, Catherine. This guy should survive. He can get bombarded. He can get attacked from there. Really? Korea? We're all friends? Um, ooh, sorry. I'm, I can't. <laughs> Busy. Uh, why do you have a great merchant there? Why would he move a great merchant there? Not sure if we're going to be able to do something about it. Unfortunately. Uh, you can be upgraded. But mostly we have to kill this guy here, who's a threat to my artillery. And we did. We're going to go for the finish. And we'll finish you. God, they keep pumping out those Berbers. It's just as annoying as the Berbers in uh, European Universalis 4, where you've got double coring costs, which is just awful. Hey, we're going to have a great general again. I'm not upset that we built that citadel there. I think it's actually paid off quite a bit. But it does suck that we haven't had, like, great generals to go and, you know, get shit done. Okay, this guy will be able to take Casablanca in one move if it gets weakened. So next turn, that's probably what we'll do. I'll probably actually just leave him here. So he can't be bombarded or anything. Well, you know what? If they want to spend a move bombarding, that's okay. If I go there, can I, will I still be able to do it? You might go and block me. No. If you want to absorb a shot, that's okay. One way or another, we'll get in there. I'm hoping this guy survives. It'd be really nice if he did. Oh, he did, but the other one didn't. How odd. Okay. Boom. 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 We're going to create a puppet, of course. What do we got? Uh, lots of buildings. No wonders, but tons of buildings. Um, now, you can set up, blow up that guy. A Russian settler over here? <gasps> oh, it's so hard to not kill that, but, you know, I can't do that to Catherine, to my love. Sorry, Sensha. But, you know, Catherine, you'd agree. I'm pretty sure she's on both our lists. Do, 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 do. Uh, ra, bum, bum. Mm -hmm. So she's going to drop a city right in the middle over here. Um, I could maybe pick up a couple of tiles first. Actually, let's do that. Well, we're unhappy right now. Because you can't put a city adjacent to someone's territory. So it means there's nowhere in here she can drop a city. Technically, there's a city possible here, and I can't stop that, because I can't buy tiles in Casablanca right now, because they're in Rebellion. Volley. Okay, we are obviously going to keep marching, um, but we can go back into the mode of just slaughtering units right now. We can, and we sort of have to. Um, yeah, you keep healing, which should be fine. We're going to scoot you up a bit more. We can reach there, which is nice. Um, I'm Yeah, I'm going to take this attack across river. Any counterattacks would be in bad shape. The Great War um, infantry is a strength 50. Right now, the fact that we have that, and they're still on, um, on uh, muskets last time I checked. See, musketmen over here. We're two uh, gun techs ahead. They do have their Berbers, but now things are wickedly, wickedly different. Um, if I move up to here... We should be totally safe. Uh, we got a worker, which is lovely. Um, think, actually, we can be safe if we do that, so let's do that. Uh, this Lancer obviously has to heal. 
If we do lose Casablanca in return, we will lose that Lancer. Um, but they don't have any Bombardment ability. They might be able to take it. And right now, the Lancer can't do much anyway. So, you know, it's not the end of the world. Um, I'm going to scooch up to there. That'll be fine. We bought a great engineer in Ottawa. Um, which we will use to help out Big Ben. Now, unless someone else has commercials, which we could check, or commerce, whatever, commerce, they can't build Big Ben. So we might actually not have much in the way of competition, but we'll, we'll take the help anyway. <laughs> Hitman Zeus says, next year for Valentine's Day, Sencha Modica, you have to send Quilletine a letter with a picture of Catherine in it. Nothing written, just the picture. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, open borders. Ooh, International Games is up to vote. Uh, the AI always wants that. I can almost certainly sell the vote. I'll go and talk to uh, him again. Welcome, Great Emperor. Yes, we all follow autocracy. Enemy is near, but we didn't actually lose the city. It actually attacked the city. Catherine won that. Look, look at the competition, actually. Quite a bit of competition for that first spot. We got silver, so we get points towards the Golden Age. Most importantly, a free social policy. Don't mind if I do. We're going to go and get free thought, bonus science from every trading post, and bonus science percentage from universities, which is brilliant. Also, by completing rationalism, we get a free technology, which actually I probably should have timed better. No! You know what? That's okay. Let's go and get railroad. Save him 10 techs. 10 turns isn't bad. Um, which actually means Ottawa. Oh, you can't build Neutronstein. Vancouver can build Neutronstein, though, which would currently take it forever. Is it the only one next to a mountain? Well, Casablanca is, but it's pretty small. Really, Vancouver? Why so poor? Because your territory hasn't really been improved much. Alright, so we will go and move George Eastman, one of the founders of Kodak, down towards Vancouver. Do a bit of bombardment. Larsaki, thanks for the resub. I'm going to promote this great war infantry to... Um, you know what? I think double drill is going to be better. And, yeah, we'll move you down in this general area, too, just to try to cover Vancouver over here. Metallurgy was stolen from Ottawa. It's always Ottawa! Defensive spy, constable... We're not even number one tech, but we're high enough that it's a high priority. So I guess that's fair. Speaking of fair, world fair... Oh, right, um, Ethiopia. You were willing, I'm sure, to buy this. There's also the vote for world autocracy, but that's not going to go regardless. Um, now, depending on who we talk to, we might be able to get more or less from different people. Right, let's try eight. Oh, I should have tried more. That wasn't just flat eight. That was eight gold per turn, right? God, I hope so. It was probably just flat eight gold. No, we're not friends. So it couldn't end flat eight gold. Okay, good. Um, do we have... Sorry, I didn't even notice how much we have in the bank. No, we're short 95 for a research agreement, so we still can't get that going. And we really want to, because while we don't have the, um, the porcelain tower or whatever, we do have the bonus to research agreements from, um, the, uh, the science, or rationalism. Oh, I got something in my eye all of a sudden. Just a lash, I think, but oh, I can't see! I'm fine! Alright, we're gonna do this without depth perception. It's a good thing it's a 2D game. Um, uh, let's kill that guy. Excellent. Uh, oh, ah, I'm fine. Everything is fine, you guys. Oh. Um, yes, I think that's safe to do. This Lancer is still healing, which is fine. We'll do, um, we'll actually hit that guy. I think that'll be fine. You are still healing inside of friendly territory. We could upgrade you. I think we'll wait, especially if we want that research agreement. We're still pretty unhappy, but not un that unhappy. I think I'm safe if I'm here. I don't see how this guy could possibly take out this artillery, if he can even reach it. Uh, Mr. Worker over here. You should be safe as well. So go ahead and uh, get started on a road. And we definitely need some more workers. Go and create a great work of music over here. Do, 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 do. Quill, London? What about London? Aeronautics. 
put it in London. Oh, wait, it doesn't have to be adjacent, it just has to be within two tiles? Oh, isn't there one of them? Oh, observatories have to be adjacent. Wonders just have to be within two tiles. Thank you very much. That's the reason I got confused. Do, 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 do. I shouldn't actually need to escort you. Yeah, that was unnecessary. Oh, I'm still blind here. Okay. You know, it's hard to keep one eye on the chat when you only have one eye. <laughs> 